Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Guess what? Today marks its 50th anniversary of one of the most timeless holiday classics of all time. Yeah, not to mention it's one of my all time favorites. It's the beginning of the Peanuts television specials and movies, which originally aired on CBS, starting on December 9th, 1965. I'm talking about a Charlie Brown Christmas, the beginning of its time, which is a story about a boy named Charlie Brown who feels deeply depressed about the over commercialism and tries to find the true meaning of Christmas after he just bought a small tree you know, while directing a Christmas parade. And yes, this is the Blu-ray edition that's part of the Deluxe Holiday Collection from Peanuts. And it has all the features, including the, the bonus Peanuts special, It's Christmas Time Again, Charlie Brown. You have the sequel, which came out in 1992, which actually was released by Shell Gasoline VHS Tapes. Yeah. And this is the one I always grew up watching ever since it aired on CBS. I know I started watching some other Charlie Brown specials even beforehand or even after. But I know this special's been on every Christmas. And I always watch this. I started taping this special when it's on CBS and then later ABC. Yeah, I even started collecting all the other stuff that's from this special alone. And not only that, but I even have the soundtracks on cassette. Yep, with the original cover art from 1965 or 66. But this cassette came out in 1988, as you see here. <laughs> yeah. Matter of fact, you see those. It even has the um, oh yeah. yeah just the uh, lyrics and all that. I even got the CD that was a Starbucks coffee exclusive back in 1997, but I picked it up back in 2005, and this is what it looks like. Once you open it up, some information there, and the CD. Okay. Yep, which is by um, Vince Guaraldi Trio, who's the composer for the special. Has some famous songs such as uh, Christmas Time is Here, The Linus and Lucy theme, which has been used in every single special. And movies and all that. Yeah, it's been definitely the true song for all Charlie Brown specials. And Charlie Brown in general too. Yeah, you can even see the back. <laughs> and I also have the uh, the 40th uh, anniversary of a Charlie Brown Christmas soundtrack, which is sung by different artists like you know Tony Baxton. Brian McKnight, Shaka Khan, even got uh, David Bernat who started composing some of the later Peanut specials. Yeah, see on the back too. Yeah. Also, I'm um, gonna take this out. Yeah. Look at this. Opens it up. There you have it. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I got that at Best Buy back in 2005 when it was celebrating its uh, 40th anniversary. It's a 10 year old uh, CD. <laughs> it works. Now I do have all the books that has all the pictures and information on the special itself. Not to mention, I have all the toys 
that it got a Carl's Jr. and Jack in a Box from 2002 to 2005. Unfortunately, they're all in the containers that I saved off um, inside the closet. And unfortunately, I didn't have much time to do so. I would love to take them out, but, but then we're probably going to waste more time with the video. So I'm just going to keep it this way with the soundtracks and all this other stuff that I have right here for now. So we're good with that. If I thought about showing that, I'll probably do that in the future. And of course, this bag <laughs> of the 50 years of Charlie Brown Christmas from Macy's. Yep, and they have them in stores already. Yeah, right there. So it's really cool. It did become a phenomenon in the mid 60s since the special has been commissioned and sponsored by the Coca Cola Company, which, of course, the entire special was written over in a period of several weeks so th so they had to do all the animation on a budget for only six months they had to hire some child actors mostly child actors which includes Peter Robbins Sally Dreyer as well as um, Chris Shea Tracy Stafford Kathy Steinberg and they even brought in the producer, the creator, and of course, uh, now best known for doing the voice acting, Bill Melendez. And they got Vince Garotti Trio to compose the music. Um, once again. So there you go. This is your, um, your all-time holiday special that you'll never forget. They even had some other Christmas songs like Hark the Herald Angel Sing and Old Tenenbaum. They also mention a Bible about the true meaning of Christmas that's being said by Linus Van Pelt. So there you go. It's it's definitely the perfect holiday special that Charlie Brown has to offer. So anyway, um, let's get right to it. It stars Peter Robbins as Charlie Brown, Chris Shea as Linus Van Pelt, Trace Stratford as Lucille or simply Lucy Van Pelt, Kathy Steinberg as Sally Brown, Bill Melendez as Snoopy, with Chris Doran as Schroeder and Shermie, Karen Mendelson as Patty, Jeffrey Oldstein as Pigpen, Sally Dreyer as Violet Gray, and Ann Altery as Frida. It's written by Charles M. Schultz, you know, based on his comics, of the Peanuts, and it's directed by Bill Melendez. The special begins during its Christmas season as the Peanuts gang are skating around an ice rink near the frozen pond while singing to the tune Christmas Time is Here by Vince Guaraldi Trio, you know, where they have the kids singing it. Charlie Brown is feeling depressed and he talks to Linus about what's going on because even though he loves Christmas and he loves to send out gifts and everything, he felt not happy about what's going on involving the over-commercialism and trying to find out what the true meaning of what Christmas is all about. But Linus dismisses it as your typical behavior that Charlie Brown has. Yeah, this is where he says the line, maybe Lucy's right. Of all the Charlie Browns in the world, you're the Charlie Browniest. Anyway, his depression and admiration seems to continue by going all over the entire neighborhood to see what's going on. And while he checked his mail, and during that day he checked his mailbox, it was all empty, seeing that no one had sent him a Christmas card. Yeah, he tried to sarcastically uh, tell Violet that that, you know, he has one, but, of course, Violet just didn't buy the whole uh, sarcasm joke. Anyway, eventually, he visits Lucy in a psychiatric booth, declaring that he needs more involvement, which she recommends that he, he needs to direct an upcoming Christmas play at school, which he finally agrees. 
But on his way to the auditorium, he found that his dog Snoopy, you know, our favorite beagle of all time, decorating his doghouse for a neighborhood lights and display contest in order for him to earn money and first place. But even before the rehearsals, he runs into his sister Sally, who asks him to write a letter to Santa Claus by putting on a request for money by using tens and twenties of dollars. So now even Charlie Brown's becoming more dismay. So Charlie Brown had finally arrived at the rehearsals, but is unable to control the situation and the uncooperated kids are more interested in modernizing the play with dancing and lively music. Yeah, which that's where you hear the tune Linus and Lucy being played. Yeah, that's done by uh, Schroeder. <laughs> anyway, thinking that the play requires the proper mood, Charlie Brown decided that they needed a Christmas tree. While uh, Lucy takes over the crowd and dispatches Charlie Brown to get a big shiny aluminum tree. So Charlie Brown decided to go with Linus to, to go to a place where they sell Christmas trees, which is right near the searchlights. But, you know, trying to set out his quest to find the perfect Christmas tree, things didn't turn out so well once he finally picked out a small tree that um, turned out to be, you know, only a few branches. So anyway, once he came back, um, but then he convinced that that after he decorates, it'll be just right for the play. So then, when he finally returned to the audium with to the auditorium with the tree, which it points to children, particularly the girls and Snoopy ridiculed him completely and they laughed at Charlie Brown before walking away but in desperation Charlie Brown had loudly asked exactly what anybody would say isn't there anybody who knows what Christmas is all about and that's when Linus tells uh, Charlie Brown on stage about the true meaning of Christmas which is actually reciting from an annihilation to, to the shepherds, a scene from Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 through 14, as translated by the King James Version. And I'm going to say it right now. And there were the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David the Savior, in which the Christ is the Lord. And shall be the sign unto you, that shall find the babe wrapped in swatting clothes lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel and the multitude of the heavenly host praying God by saying, Glory to God in the highest and on the earth peace and good will towards them. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. Yep, that's what Linus said. So Charlie Brown proudly picks up the little tree and walks out of the auditorium just as he uh, looked up on the, the sky, we started seeing the star, and this is where you hear um, you know, Linus' repeated verse of what he said about the true meaning of Christmas, and decided to decorate it uh, at his home. So then he found out that Snoopy had just won first prize of the neighborhood lights and display contest. So then he decided to take an ornament, a red ornament, just to plant it on top of the tree, and then <laughs> suddenly um, the branch started to fall all the way down on the bottom, and he says, I killed it. Oh, everything I get touched gets ruined. So then um, the Peanuts gang had finally arrived with Linus joining in to actually put in his blanket, 
bolts on the tweed branch and um, if I add some more ornaments along with the rest of the penis gain doing the same thing by taking all the ornaments from the Snoopy's dog house into the tree and suddenly it becomes as we know it a small Christmas tree and then Lucy says Charlie Brown is a blockhead but he did pick up a nice tree and then that's when they started um, you know, howling to the song Hark the Herald Angels Sing and just when Charlie Brown had finally came back and found out about his little Christmas tree already being decorated that's when the Peanuts game says Merry Christmas Charlie Brown and they all continue to sing the song Hark the Herald Angels Sings there you go and that's the Charlie Brown Christmas now just to keep that in mind when it first came out in 1965 Charles M. Schultz as well as um, Lee Mendelssohn and all the rest have felt completely disappointed that they knew that when they first had the special throughout a couple days after its release they knew that this was going to become a failure and that this was going to turn out to be one of the worst. I know, something you never thought you would hear when this came out. In fact, uh, mostly because they fought for its reception, they knew it was going to be an ultimate disaster. Even Melendez has said, my golly, we killed it. So since he saw the embarrassment, one of the animators, Ed Leverett, had felt more positive that that this was his best special that he ever made. And the show is going to be running for over a hundred years or so. Well, in his own words, of course. So at this rate, they started feeling very nervous about this. And they knew this was going to be, you know, a disaster. But deep down of it, with all the critics involved and everything, they all became completely positive by its message of Christmas. And the fact that the music kind of went pretty well, even though... Some of them were sort of off based. Which, I gotta say, after all of that, they, f they finally felt relief. And then, since then, A Charlie Brown Christmas has been on the air for such a very long time. Not to mention, it won a Peabody and Emmy Award for its high achievements in the special. So, thank God for that, because if it wasn't for this, we would never have all the peanut specials that we know today. In fact, we would have never had any of the movies. They would all just be in the comics. That's it. Think about that. I mean, without Charlie Brown Christmas, we wouldn't have anything. We wouldn't have any of the merchandising that we have now. So that would be a shame. Because I really love this special. In fact, I would have never been a fan already if it wasn't for this. Think about it. But I have to say, Coca-Cola did a great job, you know, coming up with the special, because after all, they were the ones who came up with it, seeing that they were big fans of the comics. And CBS, of course, wanted to be involved, too. And the company United Feature Syndicate, which is now simply uh, Peanuts Worldwide, they were really, you know, very happy, joyous, and they really loved this special so much. So, it shows. But, hey, everybody had watched it at the time, and, and I'm just glad they continued to go on for, for a couple more years. I'm just glad to see that CBS had continued to play this. That is until 2001 when, uh, you know, ABC had took over it, and they continue to go on ever since. Well, anyway, I actually did saw the uh, It's Your 50th uh, Christmas Charlie Brown special that aired uh, recently on ABC, and and yeah, they really brought some hope to it because they started playing um, some music that's 
dedicated to the special. Yep, which I know they had some other artists join in and you know, all the others. So hey, it's um, it sure brings in the true meaning of Christmas all around. Because everybody just couldn't forget um, songs like Old Tenderbaum and Skating, yeah, Linus and Lucy Fiend, Christmas Time is Here, <laughs> and um, of course Hark, the Herald Angels Sing. <laughs> I also found out that the vocals of, of the songs Christmas Time is Here, along with Hark, the Herald Angels Sing, as well as the, the shouting Merry Christmas Charlie Brown were actually performed, get this, at St. Paul's Episcopal Church in San Ferrero, California. So they were actually using it before they were making you know, Charlie Brown Christmas. So, so, they, so in other words, they just used the, uh, the sound bites that they recorded in order to put it into the special so that way it would work which is actually part of um, which it took several months to do so and it was actually uh, and which by the way was actually featured on Vince Guaraldi's recording Vince Guaraldi's at Grace Cathedral so hard to believe that they that Vince Guaraldi actually uh, recorded this when they first aired the special, which I know nowadays they, they always show the, the special in edited form, especially on the home video releases, they actually did have some sponsorship with Coca-Cola, which I know there was even a scene at the beginning of the special where Snoopy actually took uh, <laughs> you know, Linus's blanket and just along with... <laughs> But Charlie Brown just rolling around while they were skating uh, all around the ice rink, and <laughs> Charlie Brown actually ran straight to the uh, the tree, got knocked out unconscious, and you know then the snow actually fell on him, and then and uh, Linus suddenly got knocked over by a sign you know, in the ice rink, and that's where they revealed the the Coca Cola sponsorship. Yeah, so fortunately. Uh, the only way you can see this is is you can go on YouTube and find it out for yourself. You can even find some um, old advertisements and all this other stuff. Even the, some more videos of when it first aired on CBS. Because they used to sponsor a lot of this stuff for all the Charlie Brown specials out there. I mean, I love um, the animation. definitely has its style from the comic strips. Uh, the voice acting was superb. Definitely, you know, the perfect choice to play, you know, the characters themselves, including Peter Robbins as Charlie Brown. I mean, definitely the right choice to play what a little boy should really sound like. Along with uh, Chris Shea as Lance Van Pelt. You know, he did a very good job, especially when, you know, he talks about the true meaning of Christmas to Charlie Brown on stage. Yeah, perfect shot right there. Yeah, Lucy Van Pelt, you know, that was voiced by Tracy Stafford. Yeah, because he definitely shows exactly how crabby you know, Lucy is. So, there you go. You got Sally Brown, too, with uh, Schroeder, Shermie, Patty, Pippan, Violet Gray, and Frida. Yeah, there you have it. <laughs> And I, I always loved the moment when Snoopy was actually uh, <laughs> doing all these animal sounds while he's playing all the characters that they were chosen. While all the uh, kids were playing, you know, the shepherd and you know, you know, Mary Joseph and all the rest. But my favorite moment was when Snoopy actually <laughs> started, um, you know, mimicking uh, Lucy. And then after that... <laughs> Just when Lucy was about to slug him, <laughs> Snoopy actually licks um, Lucy's face and he says, Ugh! I've been kissed by a dog! I have dog germs! Get out water! Get some disinfectant! Get some iodine! And Snoopy says, Ah! Yeah. And of course, you know, Charlie Brown does say good grief. You know, and, and 
there was even a scene where Stroder was actually playing some uh, Beethoven and using some Christmas music. And, you know, Lucy actually complains about um, Beethoven that he wasn't so great and the fact that he didn't get his picture on his bubblegum cards. <laughs> And of course, Snoopy just goes around dancing around on his piano till his shoulder stops. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of great moments right there in this special. But yeah, I mean, it's the perfect special to watch uh, during the holiday season. You never get tired of it, it never gets old. And for 50 years, it's still holds up today as one of the greatest holiday specials ever made. Definitely right there. Now, yes, it did have all of its followers, including A Christmas Time Again, Charlie Brown, All I Want a Dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown as well, you know, which came out in 2003. There's even the Peanuts Christmas Tales from 2002, and <laughs> all the others that follow. But even though they, those are good specials, and I agree, I love them, especially the, the second special, but nothing can hold a candle to this special alone, and that's for sure. Because it really has the idea of what Charlie Brown and all the rest is all about. <laughs> and the fact that it has a true meaning of Christmas. Plus it's part of it, so... There you go. So anyway, that's the Charlie Brown Christmas, and I give that special five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.